Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. This is gonna be a video full of side quests, easter eggs, and other stuff that you can do before you go up to the final areas of the game. Uh, the first thing I'd like to show you here is a little easter egg with this rocket here. Now wait for it to come down. It'll come down eventually, don't worry. <laughs> it stopped at the top. It should be coming down soon, I think. Oh wait, there we go. And it pushes you into the ground. The only way to get out is to press down. <laughs> I always found that pretty silly. It doesn't kill you, it doesn't hurt you whatsoever. It's just one of those things that it, it looks like it's gonna kill you, but it doesn't at all. Anyway, as you'll notice that those drolls and mimikas are gone as well for whatever reason. I forgot to check one more area. Um, this, no, not you guys. This door right here, at least I don't think I checked it. Oh, I forgot the chair. Dang it. Oh, well, what's in this teleporter anyway? Where does this lead? The destination is unknown. Uh, yeah, sure, what the heck. I forgot where this teleporter leads, so let's see where it ends up. Oh, the shelter, way back at Grasstown. Well, I'm gonna have to go back through here anyway. Um, yeah, this place right here. So let's go, this isn't where I wanna go just yet. So yeah, I wanna go back to the plantation. For whatever reason, the teleporter is now working. I don't know why, but yeah, now I remember where that thing goes. Anyway, now what we wanna do is start uh, a side quest with Curly. So what we gotta do is go down to the lowest parts on the bottom right corner, I think, of the plantation. So let's just plop ourselves downwards. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong though. As I said, I don't know this area all that well. And you know, I just thought of something. You know those drolls that I joked about being trolls? Well, it's, it's kind of funny. They don't attack you until you attack them. So it's like, don't feed the trolls. <laughs> there's, there's more to those enemies than meets the eye, I think. So, yeah, this is not good. And Curly is like, who, who are you? She doesn't remember me at all. But you have to talk to them to uh, get this event started. And now what you want to do is go over to the teleporter room. Well, actually, you have to talk to her first. That, uh, that cloaked girl or guy or whoever the heck that is first to say that you need a mushroom to get her memory back. And that's what I intend to do. Oh, no, you're not going to attack me. Even though you did kind of attack me, but you failed at it. Um, I also forgot to show you these guys. You can stand on them. They're, I believe they're also called platform fish. These gunfish here. That's probably why they didn't do damage when I touched them on the side. But I could have swore that if you touched them on the side, they did damage to you. But I, I was definitely wrong about that when I tested it out in the last part. Anyway, now the droll is out of this room, so that means I can actually use the teleporter to go to Arthur's house. Arthur's house is this one. Yep, you remember this house. Now, the next thing I'm gonna be doing is recovering my health and, no, no, no. Recovering my health and saving my game, because I'm gonna be going to the graveyard next to get that mushroom that we need to uh, recover Curly's memory. So let's just work our way up here. It's very quiet, very eerie. Oh, so sad. No Mimi got... Wait, going too high, going too high. <laughs> this is the way to the graveyard. There we go. Oh, I should also pick up that uh, little guy as long as I'm here as well. And also clear my way through these little pig nun guys. And the gravekeeper as well. Now, where's the little guy? Oh, I see him right here. You say my wife's looking for me? Yeah, you're right. I ain't been home for a while. All right, time to go. And yes, you get the little guy. Well, little man. Hey, we there yet? Yeah, <laughs> that's all he says. We got to take him back to the outer wall. But first, we're going to go up to here to get the mushroom we need for Curly. Hello there, little cutie. Oh, you're so precious. Yes, I do. Amnesia, yeah, it is pretty bad. Uh, sure, I love the mushroom badge. You don't really want it, right? No, I do want the badge. Yeah, I do want it a lot. Yes, I do. No, no, I really do want the badge, and, uh, thank you! Now we can use this to recover Curly's memory. Wait, wait, a mushroom badge? I wanted a mushroom. This mushroom badge you got from the mushroom, it has no real use. To be honest, you don't really need it. Hmm. 
I have a feeling I have been had. <laughs> Found me out, eh? That's nothing more than a silly badge. What? You want to eat me? I'll have you know that I'm a valuable, valuable mushroom like no other in all the caves. <sighs> I'm not gonna just let you eat me up. Sigh! This is a boss known as Ma Pignon. It charges at you like that, and when it's charging at you, it doesn't take any damage whatsoever. So be sure to carefully shoot at it. Oh, shoot at it when you have the opportunity. And when it goes up to the ceiling like that, it'll make a bunch of clones of himself. And that can be quite problematic. <laughs> And when he, basically, that's the pattern there, is he jumps around and occasionally, oh boy, he'll go up towards the top of the screen and then make clones of himself like that. And, oh, Jesus, clones only do three damage. Well, that's good to know. Or at least, maybe that was something else that hit me. I don't know. I could have swore he does like six or five damage or something like that. Anyway, it's not a hard boss whatsoever to beat. So, yeah, you and... And I got the Mob Pignon. Oh, yeah, that was that was his name, Mob Pignon. And it's in your inventory. Look at its expression. <laughs> Allegedly, it has the power to restore memories. So yeah, that's what we needed. Now, what we want to do to do another side quest is go all the way back to the labyrinth and go get those two items that we needed to well you don't have to get these these are totally optional but you know for the sake of showing everything i might as well do that and you know what i might as well uh, recover and save my game on, on my way back there yes i shall thank you very much so down we go and now we can use the teleporter to go back to the labyrinth yeah the one right here i don't know why we couldn't go there to begin with but whatever see it now you can go to the plantation if you want to or the uh, labyrinth, which of course I want to go to the labyrinth. And this will take you to the place where Professor Booster fell down. Yeah, the, the place that if you went down to save him, you would end up killing him somehow accidentally. I don't know, I don't understand it either. It makes no sense, but I think it's best we don't question the game logic. Now you'll notice back at the labyrinth, we've got the armor gaudies hanging around here. So the second visit to this place is slightly harder in a way, but it's not all that much harder, especially since you have the spur at this point in the game. Well, if you, you know, traded the, uh, well, not traded, upgraded the Polar Star. Well, kept it all the way. You get what I'm saying. You've seen the parts. Ah! <laughs> and I'm also rushing through these parts, and I'm taking a lot of damage along the way, too. That was kind of a waste. I got I recovered six health, but gained, uh, I mean, but lost five, excuse me. Lost five, gained six. Oh, well. And the way back through the labyrinth is through here. I don't believe I showed you the easier way, or the, the easiest way to get back. Normally, I wouldn't have the booster to go through here the first time, so I would have to time my jumps to uh, fall between those blocks on the ground without getting squished. You get the idea. Or taking hit from the spikes. Now I'm going to go and get the arms barrier, which you can find. Oh boy, no, 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 no. I hate the booster 2.0 sometimes. It just screws me over. <laughs> Because I would like, I would like to go up like that and shoot the enemy like so, but that fails me sometimes. Anyway, there's a secret star block over here, which you can only get up to with the booster, or by taking a hit by the critter by abusing the physics. And here's our treasure chest. It's the arms barrier. This will reduce the uh, amount of weapon energy that your weapons lose when you take hits by half. So that will, will definitely come in handy, especially for uh, the harder boss fights in the game. And now we gotta work our way back over to uh, uh, Chava's place, you know that shop. Wait, what am I What am I shooting my way through here? I can just run through here. I got the freaking laser! <laughs> well, it's the spur, but still, you get the idea. Whoa! <laughs> this thing is designed to chew through enemies quickly, and I'm still doing horrendously. <laughs> Uh, that's okay. I'm just kind of rushing through this. I don't really have to do this perfectly or anything like that. I'm just, uh, wait, should I be? No, I'm not even going to bother powering up my weapons because later on, um, I'm actually going to lose all the weapon energy that I collected. It's actually going to filter the energy that I collected. Anyway, back at the uh, Chava shop here. Go talk to Chava. Hey there. Yeah, it is. Uh, I, I, I've been here before, don't you recognize me? <laughs> Wait, you got burgled? Oh no! So there's nothing to sell. Well, it's not really much of a sell as it is a trade at this place, if you don't recall, you know, getting the snake and whatnot. But whatever, don't question the game logic. I warned you about this before. So he gives me the whimsical star. 
I didn't have to buy it whatsoever. He doesn't. Yeah, I. I don't get it. It's n this is not a shop. <laughs> so he says it's a decoration, but uh, yeah, the strongest weapon he's referring to is the um, the spur. Anyway, you have to equip the whim whimsical star if I'm not mistaken. Wait, no? I thought. Oh, it's just not showing at this moment. So let's let's go outside and see if it'll pop up for me. Um, I thought. Well, where's? I got the whimsical star. There should be little stars orbiting around me. What? What is this? I'm serious. There really should be. What? I don't get this. <laughs> Did I? Uh huh. No. Wait. L wait. Actually, let let me remove it first. Okay. And now let's put it back on. Yes, I will. <laughs> Now, let's, let's try it again. There should be little stars that orbit around me and do minor damage to enemies. Unless it's like only during boss fights or something like that, but I don't I don't think so. I don't recall it being only for boss... Oh, there we go. Maybe it's when you get a certain amount of weapon energy. Like, see these little stars, they go through walls and, and they do tiny amounts of damage to enemies like that. Uh, it'll eventually kill enemies, but don't count on it most of the time. And... That's really all there is for the um, Easter eggs around this area. Or I should say Easter eggs. And oh, wait, wait, actually, I, I do have one more thing to show off. So I gotta go back over to uh, the outer wall. And I also gotta recover Curly's memory. So you know what? I'll just cut forward and see you there. All right, back to the plantation we go. Woohoo! Now from here we can do the rest of the little easter eggs as well as weapon hunts that we can do in the game before we progress to the last couple of parts of the game, I guess. It's kind of sad, actually. This game has gone a lot faster than I ever thought it would, especially with how difficult this game is. This game is a very, very hard game. It, it looks like that I'm blazing through the game, but that might just be because I know it very well. Anyway, you want to go over here and... Oh. Yeah, there we go. Jammed it in Curly's mouth. <laughs> Quote! Wait, what? My name is Quote? I... Oh, I finally know my name! Yes! So, okay, here's part of uh, more of the game's backstory here. Back then, a huge number of robots were sent to this island from countries on the Earth's surface. Their target was uh, the awesome power kept within this island, the Demon Crown. That's the thing that uh, the doctor has, or he's wearing right now. But you and I were different. The two of us were sent in order to destroy that power. When we got here, the island was in shambles. The robots had torn it all to pieces, and countless Mimigas have been slaughtered had been slaughtered. It was terrible. Finally, one man got the demon crown in his possession. The robot's work was done, and the island fell silent. But that was just the beginning of the tragedy. With the crown in hand, the man turned the Mimigas into killers and began his onslaught on the earth. I tried to stop him. You were there too. That's as far as I can remember. I'm pretty sure we were able to wound him, but we seemed far out of our league. Do you remember anything? I'm afraid not, but uh, what else do you say? Okay, you're doing well, and Iron Bond, oh that's right, I have to collect this as well. It is, you're tied to Curly Brace, the only warrior you would trust your back to. Surely you will meet again one day. Yeah, so I'll make sure to talk to, to Curly again there, just to get the Iron Bond there. Uh, I'm, I don't remember if it's optional or not, but just make sure that you get it, just in case it's not. Anyway, now you've got to go take that little man to the... That's it? Oh, I see. It, it. I thought I could go through this. <laughs> That's the only part I can go through the bridge. Okay, now let's go save our game before I show you some more Easter eggs. And go down to the outer, outer wall. Now, what I'm going to do here is do a suicide in a very odd way. Watch. Go all the way to the right here. And keep holding right, keep holding right, keep holding right. And somehow you die that way. You are never seen again. <laughs> Wait, I, I thought... I actually thought that there was something that you could do, like... You flew off into the distance or something like that. I thought... Huh, well, that's kind of... 
I guess that's not much of an Easter egg as I thought. I could have swore there was a different dialogue. Maybe I got there with the machine gun or something like that. Because when you have Curly's machine gun and have it powered to level 3, you can pretty much have unlimited uh, charge up power with it. With the, um, what do you call it? The turbo charge item. So now what you want to do anyway is uh, go all the way down to the bottom and, you know, not get sidetracked like I do, or I should say like I thought I was showing an easter egg, but that evidently wasn't the case. And now what we want to do is go to the little house. Oh yeah, I'm saving this time before we even go down there. Um, because I really just don't want to go through that all over again. And then, yeah, I'm gonna have to climb all the way back up to the plantation all over again on the outer wall, but that's okay. Anyway, let's go down here. Well, go in here and then go down to the little house. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I hate this jump. Well, I should say I hate these jumps. Oh, okay, one more to go. Well, actually, two more times. <laughs> okay, I'm home. <laughs> yeah, that's, this is the home of the guy, and he's like, ah, it's good to be back. Oh, if that isn't a fine looking blade you've got there, care to trade it for my fabulous gun? I, I'm gonna say yes, just to show this off. It's, it's hard to say if this weapon is actually better than the blade, but this weapon is good on its own. So I'm gonna get it and just to show it off. This is called the Nemesis. It shoots a really fast bullet and it shoots a lot of bullets, well not a lot of bullets at the time. And you're welcome, girl. And now let's get out of here so I can show off the gun. <laughs> um, basically, well I gotta get out of here first. I don't like this very much. Okay, I'm safe. I don't need to save at all, I, I hope. <laughs> now, the trick with this nemesis here is that it does less damage than the blade. However, it shoots faster, it has a longer range, but it's got a quirk to it. It's that if you level it up, it actually gets weaker. So you, you want it to stay at level one. However, this is a great weapon to have for the last enemies in the game. I should say the last areas of the game. Because, as I said earlier, your weapons are going to be filtered. Did you see that? It's at level 3 now, and all I shoot... No, 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 no. I want I want to show off my rubber duckies. Oh, shoot. Where... Well, you, I guess you kind of seen the rubber duckies, but I want to, I want to drop this to, uh, I should say, get this to level three. Um, as you see, it's pretty easy to level up this weapon. That's its weakness: is the fact that you want to avoid getting weapon energy while this weapon is out. So, let's get some sand cracks out here. See if I can get some weapon energy. <laughs> I would like to, well, I guess you've seen the rubber ducks anyway. Well, kind of. Wait, wait, I bet you I can get some weapon energy from you. Man, I, I didn't think it was, just, it was this hard to get weapon energy, Jesus! And I'm taking damage, which means my weapon is gonna go back down to level one easily. <laughs> so, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna climb my way back up to the plantation and take some uh, weapon energy from those Midoran things. Uh, it's kind of hard to collect weapon energy here anyway because of the wind of this area, so to speak. It pushes the weapon energy from left to right. If, like, I, di I didn't show that before at the outer wall, but anything that's collectible in this area, like, uh, weapon energy or health, will be, um, will be kind of, like, pushed towards the land, sort of like those, uh, poppy enemies jumping to on the wall sideways. Okay, this part is getting kind of lengthy, so I'm just going to try and burn through and get some weapon energy soon enough. There we go, it's at level 3 now. Rubber ducky attack! It's got worse range than the bubbler, and it only does one damage per hit. Anyway, so yeah, you want to make sure that you keep your, um, keep your nemesis at level 1 as best you possibly can, and use the weapon energy that you get from the nemesis to power up your other weapons. That's the trick to this thing. Anyway, I'm gonna save my game and prepare myself for the final area of the game. Well, actually, you know what I can do is just climb up there right now and then save at the save point that's our way at the top. But I'm gonna save there first just to be sure because this is kind of something that you have to uh, get on your first try, and I wouldn't want to lose all the progress that I got there. Now, th this time I'm actually going to ride the rocket all the way to the top. Just stand right in the center and hope that you don't die. Watch. I think you have to be right in the center for you not to die. <laughs> 
yeah, those uh, press enemies there are ready and willing to kill you. <laughs> so let's save our game and end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we see what's beyond that door.